everybody, Payne and Professor here. And well, it's a Faster Friday, and on this Faster Friday, we're going to talk about the participants within an RTP. are the participants in real-time payment? Well, I just recently did a series of videos that was on the participants within an ACH entry, and I received comments and questions from several people that said, hey, what about real-time payments? Could you talk about them? A couple even said, what about checks? I'll be addressing those in future videos. But in today's video, let's go ahead and let's talk about who are the participants within RTP. Now, reading through their rules, and again, their rules, not really that thick. I've mentioned that before. But I've been reading through their rules and I want to give you some of their definitions. I'll put them on the screen for you too. When it comes to their participants now, first of all, the way they define their participants is a participant is a depository institution that has entered into a participation agreement with the clearinghouse. And they've got four categories of participants. The first one that we see is a funding participant. Now that's a participant that is party to what we call a pre-funded balance account or really a pre-funded balance account bank or and, and has an agreement in place. The pre-funded balance account bank is what's going to request and receive disbursements when it comes to working with the rules. And that's going to work with the Federal Reserve account too, okay? They're going to work with what we call sending and receiving participants, but I'm going to get to that. There's also, beside the funding participant, there is the non-funding participant. And I'll put the definition of this one up for you too. It's a participant that is not a funding participant, but that has designated another person, or I would say entity is another way to put it, that has been approved by the clearinghouse as a funding agent, which will act on its behalf when it comes to those funding obligations according to the participation rules of real-time payments and also to the operating rules of real-time payments. Now that takes us to sending and receiving participants. The name says it all. The sending participant is the participant that holds the sender's account and the receiving participant is the participant, financial institution, both all of these, that holds the receiver's account. Well, that's technically what we're looking at. If you know, we go and we look at the definitions, go high level. But the payments professor, I'm here to help you to understand everything and make it a lot simpler. Let's do that. Truth is, real-time payments, they're fast, they're easy to use, they're highly effective, and they're not that confusing. We have a sender. A sender is going to be the customer, the party, the person, the, maybe in the business, that is the sending participant working with that sending participant, that financial institution, that needs to send a payment instruction. The sending participant is going to be the financial institution, of course, that's going to be working either as a funding participant or with one of those non-funding participants to be able to send those payment instructions and send that money on to who? Well, uh, wait, wait, the clearinghouse. In fact, the, the clearinghouse, you know, is going to be the one that's going to be receiving those and distributing those payment instructions on to who? The receiving participant, which will be the financial institution that receives those incoming instructions, who will then well, we know there's no debit. So they're going to post the information or the credit, the payment instructions to their receiver. In fact, if we look at it, when it comes to the participants involved, it's very similar to what we did discuss in that previous ACH participants video, where in ACH we had the originator, the ODFI, the operator, the RDFI, and the receiver. What we see in real-time payments is we have the sender, the sending participant, the clearinghouse or the clearinghouse network and the receiving participant and the receiver. So those, in a nutshell, are the participants when it comes to real-time payment. You got any questions, got any comments, please put them below. If you'd like to hear more or there's something specific you'd like to learn on real-time payments on one of these Faster Fridays or anything about Faster Payments, let me know in the comments below or you can do like a lot of people are doing and just send me some messages. I'll be glad to address those for you in future videos. Thank you for attending.